Let's look at this problem. We have a ball. Its mass is one kilogram, and it's being swung in the vertical circular path with radius of two meter. The vertical, uh, this word right here, gives us the information that a uh, weight has to be taken into consideration. So at this instant, showing the image, if the ball is moving at a speed of four meter per second, we need to determine the tension force in cable OA. So we're going to start with the free body diagram of this ball. Because the motion is in vertical plane, therefore, it is subjected to weight, which equals to mg, which is 1 times, because uh, its mass is 1 kilogram, times 9.81. So that equals to 9.81 in the unit of Newton. And also, it is subjected to the tension force, and the tension force is always along the orienta orientation of the cable, always pulling the object. Therefore, the direction of the tension force is known. This is the tension force direction. And uh, the magnitude of the tension force, of course, is not known. That's uh, what we need to determine. And this completes the free body diagram of this object. And we also need to determine, we also need to sketch the kinetic diagram to show its motion. So for that, we need to pick a um, coordinate system. Because the, the path is circular, uh, therefore it is convenient to set up our coordinate system to be the normal and the tangential coordinate system. Therefore, we know that the tangential direction is always along a tangent to the path along the direction of velocity, and the normal direction is always perpendicular to the tangential direction and points to the center of curvature. Therefore, to draw our uh, kinetic diagram, again, we have the object. It is subject to an, which is the normal acceleration, as well as at, which is the tangential acceleration. And this is a 90 degree angle. These two directions are perpendicular to each other. So of course, if you want to write its uh, kinetic force, that is m times an and m times uh, at. Now we can evaluate um, an. Right now we do not know what at is. Um, at is responsible for the uh, change of the magnitude of the velocity, or in other words, change of the speed. An is only responsible for changing the direction of velocity. An can be evaluated from velocity raised to the second power divided by rho, rho being the center uh, radius of curvature. In this case, we do know that the speed is 4 meter per second, so squared, and the radius of the path is 2 meter. So this equals to simply um, 8 in the unit of meter per second squared. So now we are ready to write our Newton's second law equations of motion. We resolve our force into uh, the tangential and normal direction. So along the normal direction, remember that is uh, along this direction. positive n direction. Uh, we, have the, we have the tension force. T is along the normal direction. We also have a component of the weight force. So we can resolve the weight force into its components. And the weight force will have a component on, along the normal direction. That will be plus W times cosine 45 degree. And that equals to T plus 9.81 times cosine 45 degree. And on the right-hand side, that equals to MAN, which equals to 1 times 8. So you can see that from this equation, we actually can solve for T. We only have one unknown in this equation. Therefore, T equals to 1.06 Newton. So that answers this problem. However, if you want to, you can also determine uh, AT. So if we summarize the resultant force along the T direction, so we already said that the tangential direction positive is in this direction, 
We only have the component of、uh, weight along the、um, tangential direction. The tension force does not have any component along the tangential direction. So weight times sine forty-five degree equals to nine point eight one times sine forty-five degree, and that equals to m a t, which equals to one times a t. So we can easily evaluate a t from this right here, which is going to be、um, about six point nine four meter per second squared. And if you want to, obviously you can determine the total acceleration, which is simply equals to. A n squared plus a t squared, square root, and I'll leave it to you to figure it out.